Okay, there are several ways of getting in a, getting your data at a team center, especially if you're dealing with assemblies through going through a CAD program. Um, there's a manual extraction, which takes a little too long. So I'm going to show you a couple, a couple of different programs, or two different programs really. Uh, one with Solid Edge, you know, with NX, and extracting this, they call it my little dump truck over here, getting that out of out of out of a managed environment and making a copy of it and having it there for myself. Either want to send it to a vendor or send it to a colleague, have a red mark, but extract it out of the database. One of the ways, uh, and if you're using uh, Solid Edge, one of the ways that you can go about doing that is you first open the assembly inside of Solid Edge. Solid Edge then has a uh, cache assistant, which manages all the files that get downloaded over to your machine. So in essence, this little dump truck, when I first downloaded it, when I first opened it, it brought over the assembly and maybe some of the other files. But what I can do is I, if I didn't open it up, I could go ahead and hey, tell it to download all the pieces to the assembly, open it up in my the fastest way is open up here in an assembly, but once I have them in here, this is actually going to a default workspace. So what I can do is come over here to the default workspace, and usually the default workspace is going to be located somewhere in your um, user profile, app data roaming, Siemens, Solid Edge, SEC, the name of the server, your username, and there's a folder called default. But if you look here, I've got my, uh, if I'm going to sort these by type, I have my assembly right over here. And using my tools in Design Manager, I can open it up and I can select all of them and do a copy, pack and go, save as, you know, create a copy of them and give it a new location. Okay, so I can copy every single one of these out, say of the uh, Siemens default cache folder and place these over here somewhere on my hard drive. Okay, and I can export the entire assembly out in one fail swoop. So just grabbing all that, placing that over there. There's that. There's my new, keep the same file names, of course. I can change them up if I need to, but I can go ahead and perform that task and through the design manager and have everything copied out to its desired folder. So if I load it up real quick, there it is. There's my new copy, and what I can do over here, I could go ahead and close each one of these. You know, check everything back in, and then with Solid Edge, I would just uh, toggle off the managed environment, and then I could go ahead and open up my new assembly that I have here. Okay, non-manage, you can see Teams Planner is no longer displayed in my menu ribbon. Now this is a full copy from Team Center that I can uh, zip up, send somebody else because I did the pack and go or use the design manager in order to get it out. Okay, that is one CAD system. The other one is, let's go ahead and come back over here. The other one is, let's look at uh, how we can do that inside of NX. So here I've got a data set two that is in an X. So let me open it up right over here. Okay, I can launch it over to NX by clicking on the globe. And this is my NX. Now this would be my NX uh, workspace. So there you can see I've got the, the dump truck ready to go. Now with NX, we do have other capabilities and other menu, you know, it's different than what we can find inside of Solid Edge. The options are different. But that would, so over here, I've got import and I've got export too.
Both of these dialog kind of look the same if you ever used them before. Now this is NX12. Um, it's pretty similar in the newer versions of, of NX going to 1926 and 1930. That new version that they're on. Uh, but you would get a dialog, dialog box that looks like this. And each one of these dialog boxes cover the options or each one of the tabs. I may say cover the options that we're going to that we're going to use to uh, export this this assembly. So very first thing I need to do is add the assembly to the list. So this is going to be 277. Okay, so you'll see you'll see it show up right here. There it is. There we go. Okay, and uh, what I wanted to do, I want to override any files that may be in my export directory. That's uh, kind of one of the options I want to go with. Naming. I wanted to use the uh, the automatic translate option because I wanted to just use the item IDs. Otherwise, if I use user number, I mean, I have to input a new number for each single one. You could do that. Uh, that's your that's your option. Um, I've got an export directory right here that I wish to use. If you don't, then it's going to throw it in one of the app directories. The user app directory, username, app data, roaming, and then and you know somewhere down the line. So I'd like to at least apply my own right here. Uh, I'm gonna grab all the associated files, of course. Uh, make sure that the, I can I can exclude any checked out parts, and then of course my log file. So over here, now that I've got my options set up which are pretty simple. I'm going to get the latest working revision rule, auto translate, quit assembly. Okay. And the final thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and get a full, full export. So not only will I grab the assembly, but all the children, sub assembly and so on and so on. I always want to do a dry run. Click execute and you'll see a dialog box appear with the dry run uh, options and telling you kind of what it's about to do. Usually it's kind of a pre-log or a log file of what's happening here. So there you can see that everything looks, you know, default name exported out. So it's going to come out with the item ID. So I know 277 is my assembly. Oh, let's not make it that large. Close it out here. Okay, so that was my dry run. Next thing I need to do is just execute. And it'll run through the script and export each one of those outside of Team Center. There we go. And if I look now, this is the local set, local copy. And again, the same thing you would do. And you know, so right now this is running in a managed state. Now with with uh, NX, you know, I can go in and open an unmanaged part. And there would be my assembly. There you go. So now I can zip that up, send it off, send it off to somebody, rename it, things like that. But that's two of the primary or primary ways of exporting an assembly and its piece parts outside of outside of Team Center and into and into your drive.